Hey, welcome to the show. Today I got a special request from one of my subscribers to do a multiplication problem with a decimal. I was reading the comments the other day, and I always like to read the comments from my subscribers, and I think it's Sistika. I'm not sure if I'm mispronouncing the name. It's S-R-I-S-T-I-K-A, a beautiful name, and I uh, would like to have a problem with a decimal. So we're going to do that today. And I'm always getting awesome comments from all of my subscribers. I love reading those. And sometimes I will choose one of their problems and put it up on the board. I also want to send out a shout out to Yonala, LJ Family. Uh, we got A-Y-A-S-O-F-Y-A. -A -A. I love the pictures here. Look at the smiles on our uh, subscribers there. Uh, Sean, I believe it is, S-E-A-N. Um, oh, I like your cat. Yeah, I got a cat too. So that's a beautiful cat. Um, I think it's Czar. And uh, also Melvin, um, I get quite a few uh, comments and just I hope you have a great day out there. I love, uh, I love it when I see your comments there. All right, made some room on the board here. All right, let's go ahead and begin. When you multiply a number with a decimal, just go ahead and multiply like you usually would, and we're gonna do the decimals at the end. All right, let me go ahead and show you. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and multiply three times two, three times three, and three times two. So three times two would be six. So I put the six right here, and then I'm gonna take three times three would be nine. And then three times two is six. As you see, I did not put a decimal in this number right here. We're going to do that at the end. So let's go ahead and multiply the next number, which would be 4 times 2, which would be 8. So I go ahead and put the 8 right here. And then 4 times 3 equals 12. I put the 2 right here, and I carry the 1. I'm going to add that 1 in a little bit. And then I'm going to take 4 times 2, which would be 8, plus the 1, which would be 9. So I go ahead and put the 9 right here. And we're going to add these numbers up, and I'm going to make a uh, little more room on the board here, getting kind of squished right there. So I like working with the whiteboard because I can make this uh, number a little bit smaller and easier to work with. All right, let's go ahead and add these numbers. 6 plus 0 would just be 6. Oops, moved my line there, didn't I? Put 6 right here, and then 9 times 8, which would be 17. Put the 7 here, carry the 1, and then 6 plus 2, which would be 8, plus the 1, which would be 9. And then this 9, we just bring all the way down right here. Now it's time to put in the decimals. And I, I really like multiplying with decimals. It's pretty easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to count all the numbers behind the decimals on this side. So I like to go ahead and underline the numbers. So I'm going to go... This number here and that number here. Now, don't forget about this number, too. We're going to underline this 3 right here, just like that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to count all the numbers that you just underlined. So I'm going to count 1, 2, and then 3. So there should be three numbers in total that will be behind the decimal point. So there's going to be 1, 2, 3, and this is where you're going to be putting in the decimal point, right there. That's all you do. Pretty easy, cheesy, love and squeezy. Hey, I got more videos on multiplying with a decimal uh, points, so take a look at those. Also, um, I'd sure appreciate it if you leave a comment down below and the subscribe button, hit to the subscribe button, and also check out my other channel called Dino Math. We're going to be doing a lot more mathematics on that channel too and just, just having fun there. And I hope you get outside and have a lot of fun. And thank you again to all my subscribers. Um, it means a lot. I love reading your comments. All right, have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.